We're going to use Minitab to calculate some things related to the binomial distribution. So here you can see I've got a series of questions for you. On New Year's Day, 12 babies were born at Women's and Babies Hospital. What's the probability that three of them were girls? What's the probability that six of them were girls? And so on. I have more questions of that nature. What I want to know is the probabilities of all these things that are being asked for. So I'm going to find out a probability distribution for the variable. The variable is the number of girls that were born. So in column one, let me call this girls. And now, think about this with me. If there are 12 babies born at Women's and Babies Hospital, what's the fewest number of girls you could get? Zero, of course, right? What's the most you could get? 12. And you could get any number in between. So I want to do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Will everyone agree? You can't get any other number of girls than that. If 12 babies are born, anywhere between 0 and 12 of them are girls. I also want to know what's the probability of 0 girls? What's the probability of 1 girl? If I knew all this, I could answer all of these questions. So I'm going to make another column called P of girls. Probability of that number of girls occurring. Now, how am I going to figure out those probabilities? Well, I can figure it out because I know what kind of distribution this is. This is babies being born. I'm counting how many of them are girls. Counting is a big hint. I wonder if this is a binomial distribution. So I ask myself, are these multiple independent trials? Yes, each one of those babies is born and shouldn't affect the births of the other babies, what gender those babies are. Are we counting successes? Yes, we're counting numbers of girls, and girls will be our successes. So this is a binomial distribution. Do I know the probability of success on a single trial? What's the probability that a baby is born a girl. Well, we're assuming boys and girls are equally likely, so that should be 50%, or 0.5 is the probability. So now, I am ready to make Minitab calculate these things right here, because I have identified for myself, when something is binomial, don't worry, I clicked on the session window and it hid part of the worksheet, but I can get the worksheet back in a second. We identified that n is equal to 12, because we have 12 independent trials, and p is equal to 0 0.5. And if we wanted, we would also know what q is. And q, the probability of a failure, or of a boy, is also 0 0.5. All right, excellent. So now, I'll click this, make it come back. Let's go to calculate that. So I'm going to go here to calc, and I'm going to probability distribution. So I'm calculating a probability distribution, in this case, a binomial distribution. So I want to find the one that says binomial, right there. Sixth one down, binomial. I'll click on it, and Minitab opens up a dialog box, and it wants to know a few things. So I either want a probability or a cumulative probability. If In this case, I want a probability. I want to know the probability of 0, the probability of 1, the probability of 2. What a cumulative probability would do is it would add as you go. So this first one would be the probability of 0. Second one would be the probability of 0 or 1. The third one would be the probability of 0 or 1 or 2. The, third, the next one would be the probability of 0 or 1 or 2 or 3. It would add as it goes. So that this last one would certainly be a 1. I don't want cumulative probability. I want probability. Number of trials. Well, we said there are 12 independent trials. Each baby is an independent trial. And the event probability is 0 0.5. The probability of a success on a single trial is 0 0.5. Now it wants to know where's my input coming from. Well, my input is these numbers, 0 through 12. So it's this column C1 girls. So I'm going to click in here, and it gives me choices, C1 girls. And it says, do you want me to store the answers somewhere? Yes, please. Will you store it in column C2, P of girls? So I'll double click P of girls to put that there and say OK. And Minitab calculates all of these different values for me. So now let's see if we can answer the questions that were asked. What is the probability that three of them are girls? Oh, that's awkward. Here, let me move this up so that I can still see. There we go. What's the probability that three of them were girls? I will look right here where there were three girls. That probability was 0 0.053711, so 0 0.0537, about 5.4%, right? What's the probability that six of them were girls? I'll look right here where the 6 was. 6 is 0.225586. So we'll say 0 0.2256. So 22.6% approximately. What's the probability that 10 of them were girls? I look at where there were 10 girls, right here. It's about 1.6%. 0 0.0161. Where there 
And now, what's the probability that at least 10 of them were girls? I wrote 10 of their. Whoops, I meant 10 of them. What's the probability that at least 10 of them were girls? That would be 10 or more. 10 or 11 or 12. I'm going to want to add those up. It's going to be 0 0.0161 plus 0 0.0029 plus... 0 0.0002, and so on. I'd have to get out a calculator and add those up. Here, I'll do that for you real quick. But it's going to be about, what, 1.8%, 1.9%, something like that. Let's see. 0 0.0161 plus 0 0.0029 plus 0 0.0002. And we get, yeah, 0.0192, or 1.9%. Whoops. I was supposed to put an equal sign in there. Sorry about that. How's that? Oh, zero. Oh, I must have hit my insert key. Sorry, 0 0.0192. Ah, I was having trouble with that. But there, I got it in there now. There we go. That is the answers to all those questions using Minitab to find the binomial distribution.